We back with another episode of Kuroko's Basketball. Kuroko no Basket. On the last episode, bro, Kagami reached the level. He leveled up fully. He here. He him now. He is officially in the generation of miracles, bro. Look, he was he was teeing up against these peons, right? We in the prelims. We just we doing our thing. And Kagami, he like, yo, I feel different. I feel the electricity in my in my muscles. You know what I'm saying? I gotta I gotta show these boys what I'm really about. Cause it's the winter cup. I ain't about to play with y'all no more. Almine, we coming for you. We coming for you, Almine. So we hit him with the high all the way up there. Boom! That man, that man used Conqueror's hockey. He had the spiritual pressure of a, a goat, bro. All of them felt it. Almine on top of the roof. Damn. What's that? What's that I sense? I think I sense another dog. Yo, Akashi. He said, huh? I know that ain't what I think it is. Midorima, huh? I know that ain't what I think it is. Come on, man. Come on, man. I told y'all. Yo, Kaga be getting man character treatment, bro. This shit is crazy, bro. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's see, let's see where we go from here. Full version is on Patreon. If you're watching this on YouTube, we way ahead on Patreon. So link is in the description. Leave a like ahead of time, just just because Kagami's him now. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh yeah, see Midoriya not playing. Crush their dreams. Let's get all the scrubs out the way, bro. Oh yeah, nah, if I'm getting beat like that, nah, I'd be sick. Yeah, Midori my Haiti, he's at oh damn. I got another I got another challenger for real now. You can feel it in the air. Is he gonna show him his new move? I knew it, yeah. Let's see that new drive against somebody that's actually a ball player. Yeah, it's time to like practice against like actual dogs. No better dog right now than Kagami. Let's get it. <clears throat> nah, that's crazy. Now, I feel like the writer has to do a good job of keeping Kuroko up there with Kagami. Cause it's like, yo, Kagami is in a league of his own right now. So it's like, Kuroko got to level up too. That's the main character, bro. So it's like, he got to do something crazy. He just got past Kagami. Let's go. All right. Oh, he lost the handle. Damn. Damn. But I mean, hey. That's why he lost the handle. That's probably why he lost the handle. So he been, he been working, bro. That shit glistening. Six? He been working. Okay, Kuroko. So if he like really on the court for real, then he probably already got it down pat because he been doing this outside and he on the six ball. Okay, yeah, he been working. Let's handle these bums. Let's handle these bums. Good three. Hey, now you could really becoming a sharpshooter, bro. I'm telling you, we ain't we ain't scrubs no more, bro. We the team to beat. We the team to beat, and we got Tepe back. Stop playing, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. Nobody riding for Tepe for real, bro. Tepe is Tepe is my guy, bro. Yeah, I'm on him, Kagami. Come on. Nah, break the rim is crazy. Yeah. We waxing folks, bro. We waxing folks. There ain't no, there ain't no more kings. Where the J. Cole? There ain't no more keys. Nah, that's got me hyped because we really nasty now, bro. 
こっちも勝ちは決まったし<笑>お互いを習得には負けたが残り二勝は今勝ちしたこっちの解剖は済んだからな Wow so it's like they know they gonna be alright so they chose not to play against Shitoku Okay they went and scouted the comp okay They got some yeah they looking they looking ahead Nah you know you raw if Midorima don't like you You know you raw if Midorima don't like you bro Yo what's up What's up you want the rematch I can give you the rematch game Is, there, is this what you want bro You starting me down for real Let's get active Come on Hey, we ain't them same. We ain't them same little boys, bro. We grown men now. We grown men. <clears throat> nah, I don't know. It's a different energy about this season, bro. Exactly. Because they don't have that high and mighty mindset. Yeah, they don't have that high and mighty mindset, so they actually come in like. Locked in for real. They won't be playing pompous. Yeah, it's like just because you won one seed don't mean you can't be beat by an eight seed. So they coming in with that mindset. They got a reality check. Oh, yeah, I think we did hear about them. Yeah, wow. That was his teammate. Hanamiya. Wow, so they was on the same squad. Okay. Yeah, so he definitely raw. Mm, yeah, he got the right idea. That coach must really rock with him. If he, if he got that much pull on the squad. What? Nah, you're not talking crazy to me like that, bro. <coughs> Then that means this dude is grimy. He's slimy. He gon' he gon' find the the back door, bro. Interesting. Yeah, Tepe do not like this dude. Tepe does not like this dude. Oh, nah, nah. You, you a dickhead, bro. Nah, this dude is a dickhead. Yo, you bringing a lot of injuries, bro. Nah. He's slimy, bro. He's slimy. Yeah, can you imagine somebody like that losing? You know what that would do to them up here, bro? They won't be the same. They will come back bigger, better, and stronger. Yeah, I don't know. Madonna might pull some new tricks out the hat, bro. He might pull some. He might pull some. From what we already saw last time, it's gonna be twice as crazy. Oh snap! See, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Nah, this season about to be fire, bro. These not the same characters from season one. Come on, Tepe. This your first. This your first real matchup, Tepe. Tepe, this is your first real matchup, Spaz. Let's go. Yeah, you gotta be up to that challenge, bro. You gotta grow. Let's go, Kagami. One on one. The whole game. No more double team. Come on. Tepe, get that. There we go. Oh, no. There we go, Kuroko. Come on. Yup. Oh, he already going for it. Kagami, get a hand up. Blocked. 
Come on. You know what it is this time around. You know what it is this time around. Give him smoke. I'm telling you, because he can jump higher. I'm telling you, because he can jump higher. It's not the same, bro. You're not, you're not rocking with me. The way you think you're rocking with me, you're not, bro. He don't even have time to trash talk. That's how locked in Midorima is. That's crazy. And you know how much Midorima loves his trash talk. Oh wow. Wow, yeah, so it's... Yeah, so he's basically just gonna out... He's gonna outlast Kagami. That's his plan. Yeah, his plan is to outlast Kagami. Kagami's gonna lose that ability to jump. Yeah. Wow, so Midorima's willing to get blocked every single time. This dude is different, bro. He's willing to get blocked every single shot attempt. Until Kagami can't jump anymore. Hey, who's conditioning? Who's conditioning was harder? We saw what Kagami did over the summer. Who's conditioning is harder? Wow. Dude. Kagami really changed Midorima, bro. That's not the same character for season one. That is not the same character at all. That's kind of crazy, bro. That's kind of crazy. The energy in this season is different, yo. I don't know how to explain it. The energy is different. Because it's like... The stakes are high. People's pride have been shattered. So they're coming back looking for vengeance, bro. And it's like, damn. You see, Midorima, yeah, he's literally just gonna let every shot get blocked by Kagami until Kagami can't jump anymore. So it's like, whose conditioning was better in the offseason? Whose conditioning made them more of a dog than they already were? Was it Kagami? Or will it be Midorima? Now, I'm still going to have to lean Kagami just based on the fact that that running he did, that running he did during that summer camp at the beginning of summer was crazy, was crazy. He ran back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and got a water bottle for every single person on both teams. Let's not forget that. So I definitely think Kagami's going to end up outlasting Midorima, but it might end up being close because we don't know what Midorima's training regimen was like. Because we only saw Kagami's conditioning at the beginning of the summer. They still had the whole summer to do some more stuff that we didn't see. So, um, yeah. This is going to be this is gonna be tough, bro. It won't be the same as season one. It will not. Huh. Dude. I don't know, man. We coming for smoke this season. We coming for smoke. We coming for smoke. Even Kuroko said, he's like, yo, it's something different, bro. He acting different. Like, I don't know who this is right now. So, I feel like we're going to see that from more characters. Like, we already saw it with, with Kisei when he lost to Almine, or as he was losing to Almine. So, um, it would be interesting to see how Almine takes a loss. That's what I'm very intrigued to see, because we see how Midorian was acting off of an L to um, Kagami after seeing how good Kagami's gotten. Like, could you imagine Almine, bro? Nah, Almine might literally, I don't know what he'd do. I really don't know what he'd do. Like, right, as of right now, this show treats Almine as if he's the best of the best. So, for him to lose, he'd have he'd have to go ballistic. He'd, he'd have to do something out of this world. So, there's no way Almine loses and then just shuts down. So, I wonder what measures he would go through. Because they got to be hella drastic. That shit would be crazy. But, um, yo... <sighs> Another person to watch out, Tepe's boy. We got to watch out for his squad. Because I don't know. His squad is a little bit... They, they got me on edge a little bit. He's a he's a dastardly character. I could tell off rip. You bringing up my injuries, bro? Like, nah, you're sick. You're sick. You're sick. I don't like you. I don't like you. But I can tell his character is going to be... His character is going to be one to enjoy this season. He brings that edge in a, in a show full of just, like, just athletes. 
there's always somebody that brings that edge. And that's why I enjoyed um, Almina so much in season one. Because it was like, he brought something different to the show. And this guy, this guy looks like he's, he, he stoops to even lower levels than Almina would. And we already saw that. He didn't even play against Shitoku. Like, all the starters were in the stands for everybody to see. And they're just staring at Sari. Just staring them down. So it was like, yo, that match is going to be crazy. So, um, I don't know. I think I got to touch up on um, the win policy. Because she said, the coach said, we win and we're in. If we lose, our hopes drop drastically. Not we're, not we're out if we lose. They just drop drastically. So, while I don't think we lose to Shotoku, I wouldn't be surprised if we did because it sets up a greater stage for um, Tepe's, Tepe's boy and his squad. And then it's like, yo, winner, winner go home type of scenario. So, I'm interested to see what we do with this. Honestly, the way Midorium is moving, it might cost his team to win. That's that's how I see us winning if we do. So um yeah, it's gonna be interesting to watch. Definitely. That was a great episode. That was a great episode. Good episode. Cause it really shows how the the intensity of the show has changed. Like the the um the feel of the show is 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 shifting, bro. It's shifting. It's much more serious now. Like we, we didn't see like any com comedy uh comedic relief in this episode. They were just, they were just about business. They were just about business. So, yeah, Kagami, do your thing, bro. I hope that conditioning paid off. I hope Midorima gets locked up. Because, like I said in the beginning of the episode, Almine, we coming for you, bro. We coming for you. You, you, you the one we trying to get. You the one we trying to get. Don't forget it. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do all that, man. Link to the Patreon is in the description. Leave a comment, bro. Who is your favorite character so far in this series? Me, personally, I slick. Gotta go Kagami. I have to. I have to. He's getting main character treatment. He is getting main character treatment right now. He's like, if we got introduced to Trunks, but he didn't fall off. That's literally what Almina is. He's Trunks without the fall off. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next reaction.